Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and happy Monday to you all. Or if you are watching this at any other point in the week, hope you're having a great day regardless. We're going to continue on with the boy next door drop. The title track, Earth, Wind, and Fire, was actually a really good time. Super energetic, super bouncy. Love the vibes of it. But this drop with an, the, uh, another EP. So we've got B-sides to check out, which is super exciting for me. Because this will be the first like proper album sit down I have with Boy Next Door because we didn't do an album listen for last year with But Sometimes, and well the debut they released all the MVs for all three songs individually and we saw all three of them. So my first proper album sit down was Boy Next Door music. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've already seen that there's a whole bunch of member credits across the board on most of the songs, which is super cool to see. And, well, I thoroughly enjoyed the title track. And if the B-sides are anything of that quality, I reckon I'm going to enjoy this. So, let's jump on board with Boy Next Door's How EP. Here we go! Right, I've got my album credits pulled up on the second screen. Um, fortunately, I'm recording this um, still within the six o'clock window, so there are it's too close to release for lyric videos to be out. So we're just gonna do the standard like YouTube music layout. So, uh, it's gonna be a really like listen along kind of dealio, which kind of works in my favor a little bit because I'm an ears first type of person. But it won't be very exciting for you watching, so I can only apologize um, in that front. But We've got a ton of music to get through, so let's get through them sharpest. Track number one, this is our uh, credits, uh, comp er, uh, writing credits, Zico, Pop Time, and Zeno Vibe. Here we go. Nice vibes. It's light with the hint of heaviness in the bass in the background. Oh, the beat is actually halftime. I like the background work. That's very cool. Lots of background vocals going on. I like the location for the rap first inclusion. It's a nice pep in its step. I wasn't expecting the kind of slowdown there like that. It's like they brought in the trap beat to hit the brakes a little bit. But that was the only place, because it's kind of back to the normal speed now. There's a really interesting brightness to this song. I don't know if it's like the key that it's written in. Oh, and the trap beat's back. Yeah, there's a really interesting sense of brightness to this song that like, it's not overly noticeable and in your face, but it keeps the song a little bit lively, and that's very nice. Man, not bad. I like I like the way that the album starts, because this is track number one. It's the track number one isn't the title track. So this is kind of like the introduction into the album, and it's a very friendly song to listen to, because it's I feel like it's a very inclusive song in that they throw in a few different styles here and there, but none of it is like overwhelmingly strong or powerful. The vibe's nice, the pace is nice, the song's on the shorter end, but I can't complain too much. It is the streaming meta nowadays, and yeah, it's like it's not like glucose inducing bright, but it's not dark either. And I wouldn't say it's like kind of mellow either. It is le it is bright leaning, but it's not overly bright. It's got a nice bass, but it's not overwhelmingly loud. Like, it's not a head rattler loud type of loud. It's got a nice little rap section in there without it becoming like a rap focus song. There's a like underlying playfulness to this song that I think even adds to that kind of invitingness that the song has. As an album opener, that's a really good song, I think. Ooh, okay. Amnesia, track number two. Composition credits, Pop Time, Kako, and then Taesan, and Wunhak, and then Ryo. Okay, so I guess Taesan, Wunhak, and Jaehyun, are they kind of producer line in this group then? Because I feel like this is the first time I've properly looked at album credits for this group. And they are on every, well, some combination of at least two out of the three are on every single song minus the last one. Which is super cool. Thank you, Zico, for allowing them to get involved with their own music. 
But amnesia, here we go. Super cool movement from everyone in this. Instrumental part, vocal part, really cool movement. Up until this point, this has been such a straightforward song. And even the slowdown, while I feel like it's not as standard as maybe I would have thought they would have gone, it's a little bit of a different spin on the slowdown than I would have expected from a song of this nature, but it works for me. And I love this super soft part because everything gets soft, even the vocal delivery is super soft. The little evolutions this song has too, like every time the phrase of the song changes, the song changes up just a little bit. Yeah, no, amnesia for, you know, a word that always involves, like, memory loss and stuff. It's super easy to listen to. It's, it's, it's an autopilot song for me, in that I can pop it on and just enjoy it. The, I think the pacing's, it's on the quick side, but it's not overwhelmingly quick. The song I mentioned earlier, it changes whenever the phrase of the song changes, but it's not super dressed where your ears get kind of, like, sucked into it. You can kind of play it and just loosely follow along with it but still get the true listening experience which i think is really cool and having a song like this that admittedly is a very neutral sounding song like it's not bright but it's not dark either even i i would say amnesia is more neutral sounding than our was which is an, which is an interesting kind of like transition between song to song is usually a pop album will kind of sh go in one direction then change but we're slowly starting to head back to the middle now and knowing track number four earth wind and fire is a pretty bright song i wonder what direction track number three is going to go because usually an album will have some kind of so sonic progression so sonical progression the sound will change pretty consistently throughout kind of like how amnesia the song is it's very consistent but it's ever ever evolving in a way and that's usually how albums are structured, so... Well, let's figure out what track number three sounds like, shall we? So, let's go see the stars. Uh, exact same com uh, credits list as Amnesia. Okay, here we go. Love a snappy pad beat like this. Hello synth scale in the background. It's literally just doing the scale. A nice retro-inspired synth pop song. I'm so on board with this. What does this remind- this reminds me of something, I can't remember what it is. But even though this is like a very synth-heavy pop song, the vocals are super relaxed, and I like that. That's so- that's such a- like, music theory-wise, it's such a simple, like, this ascending and descending synth part. Oh, get a little crunchy for the bridge. Oh, nice meaty bridge, too. And I like that the crunch is still there. Sneak in a key change one time, gentlemen. Okay. And look at that. A song nearing the 3 minute 30 mark in this economy. Oh, we are blessed today. Let's So let's go see the stars. It's, look, it's a very me-coded song. I'm a sucker for a kind of retro-inspired synth song. I think the pacing of it is brilliant. I love the kind of simplicity of this song in certain places. It's got like that F major scale ascending, descending synth part in the pre-chorus. Just that really consistent 16th note bass part. And the vocals are super pretty. Very relaxed sounding, but super pretty and really effective on a song like this. Because, you know, you get that nice consistent bass beat and the song is reasonably fast from a music theory point of view. Like, if we're looking at BPM, it's, it's decently quick. But it doesn't feel that way when you listen to it, because you just kind of feel the major beats, and the vocals don't feel like they're super energetic either. It's, they're just they're cruising the groove and doing it really well. Oof. And I'm never going to say no to a retro synthy song. Like, I'm just not. It's... I grew up around 80s like pop and rock music, and boy, let me tell you, synth work like this is always going to be spectacular for my ears. Um, there's, I think I remember what the song is that I'm trying to think of. It's it's on one of my playlists. Hold on, give me two. Um, where is it? Come on. Uh, 
Come on, Spotify. Where, where, where? Oh, no. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. Oh, no. It's... Oh, God. Um... Is it orchestral maneuvers in the dark? Hold on. It is orchestral maneuvers in the dark. It's like if you leave from Pretty in Pink by orchestral maneuvers in the dark. It's very similar vibes. Not too quick, but it's got the driving synth part. Vocals aren't too like bright. They're really casual sounding, yet they're really smooth. That That's so far track of the album for me. All right, track number five, because, well, track number four was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Of course, we made a dedicated video on that one. But track number five, Life is Cool. Credits, Pop Time, Kako, Jaehyun, Taesan, and Unhak. All right, here we go. Oh, that's not the sound I expected. Okay, this is kind of giving me, like, debut era sound for some reason. Like, I can hear, I can imagine this sound being, like, Sonically connected to like one and only a little bit. Weirdly, I think this might be the slowest song so far, but it's the brightest sounding. It's definitely like got the most playfulness going on. I at least to me it sounds the most playful. It's the brightest sounding. The layering in the instrumental part is really interesting too, because it's like there isn't a whole lot of mid-range going on. Even the rap verse has this playfulness to it. Okay. Let's talk about that one, shall we? Oh my goodness. Um, so, essentially the first, like, 90% of the song, super bright. It's almost like, especially with the, with the way the song, song uh, starts, like the kind of playful, like, children chatter type of dealio. It almost makes it sound nursery rhymey in a way. Like, it's got a bunch of unison harmonies going on. It's very bright, but it's very, it's slow, but it's really bright. And then the song switches at the very end. It wants to go jazzy, and I get the direction they want to go. Interestingly, though, the drum part in the background, the beat isn't swung. And I think that's... It's a, such a minute little detail, but for people who know, like, the little bits and pieces, the little details when it comes to, like, slow jazz, they'll know immediately that it's not quite, like, true slow jazz, which is, I mean, first of all, the huge switch up to finish the song is really interesting to me. It's one of my favorite, well, I think my favorite girl group B-side of last year, Purple Kisses Autopilot, had a similar finish. The fin the final chunk of the song, completely different stylistically to the rest. And so, like, let's well, actually go back to it. I want you to pay really close attention to the percussion part in the background. So the very faint cymbal sound in the background, do you notice how it's on it's on the straight beat? Tan 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 tan. Like I'll play it again. Pay really close attention to it, because it's really far back in the mix. But it's not the main clicking sound, it's the really faint cymbal sound in the background. It's really cool to be holding line on them, baby. Typically on a song like this, I mean, I'm not saying it has to be this way, but typically the entire beat would be swung. So instead of it being a straight tan 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 tan, you you expect to hear at least I would expect to hear something along the lines of tan 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 tan. So instead of it being on the firm up and down beats, you kind of clip it on the way up. So you slow it, you delay it, but you clip it on the way up. So you get this tan. And the fact that it, that's not there is really interesting to me. Um, 
That's such a bizarre finish to this song. Life is cool in general. I think the song, the whole structure and the premise of this song is really bizarre to me. Because it's taken a creative direction that is so far beyond what I would have imagined the song to go. And it's like, by the time you finish that second chorus and thinking, okay, okay, I can, uh, I can't, I think I figured out where it's going. And they switch it up again, and now you're really left behind. It's like, whoa, that that that's a that's a mind doozy one right there. Oh my goodness. And then one final song. Well, technically, track number seven does exist, but it's an English version of Earth, Wind, and Fire. And usually, we don't do remixes or language remakes at the end unless very specific or. Uh, very rare cases so final song on the album listed for today this is track number six dear my darling uh credits pop time kako jaehyun taesan ryo and donk here we go love a ballad in three. Oh, oh, they are smooth smooth with it this is freaking gorgeous section what no no ah, it's an outro song oh i didn't even clock that at the beginning no how dare they oh that was my favorite song on the album what okay okay look first of all this is spectacular the guys have got the vibes and the aesthetics of this slow, almost loungy type music perfectly. The attitude that this song exudes, the kind of comfort that this song exudes is perfect. Like, it's literally immaculate. And yet, it's an outro song. Oh, I haven't been this devastated about a song since Yuju's debut opener. Oh. I beg. KOZ, I beg, please make this into a full length song at some point. Oh, we're going again. I'm listening to it again. I don't care. I don't care that I have to do stuff after this. Super mellow vocals, super soft vocals. When you get the little cymbal rolls in the transitions, the nice acoustic piano, nice little bit of reverb going on. The piano's playing in a nice 12-8 or a 6-8 or a 3-4 type beat. It's in triplet meter, so it's got a nice little swing to it. A song naturally just kind of rocks back and forth. Super gorgeous vocals to accommodate that. And then... Get a little bit of bass action going. Crank up the power in the vocals a little bit. Do, do, do. Keep the background vocals coming up here. How dare they end that there? Oh man, in heavens above. <sighs> Genuinely, I have not heard of a group doing this kind of up sounding really just like slow swing jazz type music in a very long time if ever and boy next door have possibly done the perfect modern interpretation of this sound that i've heard come out of the korean music scene and it's only an outro song that lasts a minute 40 seconds i feel robbed are you kidding me I'm, uh, uh, that's gonna haunt my nightmares. Cause, oh, what the what could have been factor, you know, the what could have been factor. It was right there and it's so good. Oh. Genuinely, I have not felt this robbed towards a song since. So, Yuju, uh, one of the members of G Friend, when she made her solo debut two years ago. She debuted with the record album. The first song was an intro song titled Bad Blood, and it's this spec 
spectacular crunchy it's got a really nice crunch Re love the mixing on it it's a little bit intense it's a little bit rough around the edges and then you pair it with yuju's kind of powerful vocals and it's spectacular but it was only like a minute and 20 something seconds long and it's only ever been an intro song to her debut ep and i have been livid about it ever since boy next door's dear my darling might just have to carry the torch moving forward for my most robbed potential of a full-length song award because oh my goodness look even off of the minute 40 dear my darling is my favorite song on the album but if we're choosing from full-length songs so let's go see the stars i think is probably going to take the crown from this album but overall this album is actually really good fun to listen to you get to go on a nice little roller coaster of different sounds and different styles and yet everything feels cohesive there isn't one song on here that really just screams that this doesn't feel like it belongs in in the album sometimes you come across a pop album and you listen through all the songs it's like okay one of these songs sounds a little bit out of place and maybe it's like an order thing but i never got that sensation which is super cool and i appreciate the music team behind this album because they've done a really good job with it i think the mixing is really good too I didn't think any single part felt was felt um, like it was washed out or if it was put too far forward. I think the vocals were on display at a really high quality. Like sometimes they were mic'd up close so you can feel the emotion, but they were sometimes mic'd far away so you can feel the power of it all. The songs, I feel like, again, not a ridiculously fast-paced album, but I don't mind that. It's not slow either, which helps too. Hey, apart from the ending of Life is Cool going into Dear My Darling, this really isn't fast or slow. It's kind of like the perfect Goldilocks album in a way, where it just sits in the comfortable middle and you can just enjoy for what it is. So, two thumbs up from me. Still pissed about Dear My Darling. Have I said that enough today? <laughs> Anyways, that was good fun. I thoroughly enjoyed listening through that. Hopefully you did as well, but thank you for listening along with me if you made it this far again hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i did one last request from me today let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world whether it be checking with your friends and family holding the door open for somebody or even picking up a piece of trash off the street just one small act of kindness may brighten up someone else's day to day and know that wherever you are in the world should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be even though i'm just some guy in there who waffles about music in his free time know that i will always be a friend an ally and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me so take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.